Welcome to Singularity University. I'm Greg Marinak, Chairman of the Energy and Environmental Systems Track. Why do we study energy at Singularity University? Because it's the key challenge of the 21st century. Here's a list of the top 10 problems facing our world from Nobel Prize winner Richard Smalley. And you could see that he placed energy number one on the list. But as we'll learn, all the other nine top challenges on this list interreact directly with energy. And it's an astonishing thing, but here we are well into the second decade of the 21st century, and right now more than 1.6 billion people do not have access to electricity. So what we're going to look at this summer will include where the world gets its energy now, and stand by for some big surprises. We'll look at what most people call generation, but what really is energy conversion, uh, moving energy from one source to a form that we wish to use. We'll look at the impact and the tension between generating uh, forms of energy that are usable for humans and the impact on the Earth's fragile biosphere. And that tension is one of the key problems that we face as we try to overcome energy poverty without destroying the planet. One way to do that is to use a, a greater percentage of renewable and sustainable sources of energy. And we'll look at two key areas of technology that will enable that. The first of those is energy storage, often somewhat overlooked by the popular press, but something we'll concentrate on a lot at SU. And the second is energy networks, including some things that you might not have considered as energy networks, but which really are. And we'll look at future networks to move energy from where it is to where we need it. So stand by for a really exciting summer. We look forward to seeing you here at SU.